Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Modico switch for the HTC One. This is for the international version, but there are also uh, Modico switches available for other phones like the Galaxy S4 and other variants of the HTC One. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head to Modico.com. You're going to need to grab these three files, the Switch Beta 1.zip, the Switch Beta 10.zip, this is the update, and then the Switch Super SU. Uh, this just adds Super User to your ROM. And I'll be sure to include a link in the description to all of those download files as well, so that way uh, you won't have to go searching the web for those. So real quickly, let me just kind of explain the premise of Modico Switch. So lots of people love to run custom ROMs. Um, I am a huge fan of custom ROMs, mostly because I like to have a choice as to what kind of experience I want to run on my phone. So whenever you get the HTC One, you're going to get Sense 5 out of the box, and that's pretty much what you're limited to. Uh, of course, you can install applications like custom launchers and uh, themes for those launchers to give you a unique look and feel to your device, but you're never going to get the true AOSP feel on an HTC Sense 5 ROM. Modico Switch really solves all of that. Uh, basically what you can do is you can run both Sense 5 and stock Android 4.3 on your HTC One and it just you can switch back and forth between those two ROMs. I always kind of thought that the OEMs really should give you an option to run either their version of Android with their custom skin or they should give you the ability to run a Nexus style AOSP experience ROM on your phone. That's kind of what this gives is the best of both worlds. So we'll go ahead and get started with the install. Make sure that you have those three files that we discussed downloaded to your phone then you're going to want to boot into recovery. So we'll just go ahead and uh, restart our device into recovery. You can flash this in Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. I prefer Team Win Recovery Project. Mm -hmm. So basically you'll install this ROM like any other ROM, uh, but there are a few little differences, so please watch this video in its entirety. Um, there are some things that we need to do once we get the ROM booted up. So the first thing you want to do here is wipe. You're going to wipe data, cache, and Dalvik. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go back and install. If you downloaded this directly to your phone, it's going to be in your SD, um, on your SD card under download. And the first thing you want to do is uh, install the Switch Beta 1. Make sure that's what you're flashing. Go ahead and flash that. Okay, so as soon as the first file is installed and before you reboot your phone, we'll go back and install that second file, the Switch Beta 10 zip. Be sure that's what you're flashing and swipe to flash. Seems like each file is taking about five minutes to install. Okay, after the second file is finished, we'll go ahead and flash the Switch Super User. Swipe to flash, and when that's all finished, go ahead and reboot the system. Now the developer did specify that this ROM is not DODEXed, and because it's not DODEXed, it will take quite a while to boot up on first boot, so be very patient with it. Um, even if it appears to be boot looping, kind of be patient with it. Give it you know up to 10 or 15 minutes to boot, and then you should be good to go. Of course, continue to watch this video because there are a few things that we need to do once the ROM is fully booted. Okay, so once you're all booted up, Paul O'Brien, the developer, suggests that you go ahead and run through the HTC Sense setup, but don't set up your accounts yet because there's a few other things that we're going to do. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run through the Sense setup. Okay, so once you're finished here, you'll go into Settings. Okay, so we'll go into our Settings application. We'll go into our Power menu and turn off the fast boot. So just be sure that you do uncheck fast boot. If you don't uncheck fast boot, then Modico switch will not work. Okay, so the next thing you'll do is run switch from the app drawer. It says, do you want to switch to the Google Play Edition ROM? We'll go ahead and select yes. And this should boot us into the Google Play ROM. And now we're booting into the Google Play ROM. Now, Paul O'Brien does suggest going ahead and uh, signing into all your accounts through the Google account setup on the initial boot of the Google Play Edition ROM. From there you should be good to go. Okay, and now we're in the startup wizard for Android 4.3. This has been how to install the Motoco Switch for the HTC One M7. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the HTC One and other devices. 
You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.